school, corporal punishment happens when the teacher or adult in charge purposely inflicts pain upon a child in order to stop that child's unacceptable behavior and or inappropriate language. It is also used to prevent the child from repeating that behavior or offense and to set an example for others. The punishment is usually a series of spankings administered with a device specially kept for the purpose, such as a cane, wooden paddle, or leather strap. Although less common, it could also include smacking the student in a deliberate manner on a specific body part with the open hand, especially at the elementary school level. People in support of corporal punishment in the school systems argue that it provides an immediate response to interdiscipline and that the student is quickly back in the classroom learning rather than being suspended from school. Those against it believe that other interdisciplinary methods are equally or more effective. Some say it is the equivalent of violence or abuse. In 1866, a major case of corporal punishment was brought under trial. A teacher had struck a child 15 to 20 times with a whip. The parents of the child felt that it was an unnecessary and brutal act on the teacher's part. Although the case was closed, it made people stand up and speak against this barbaric act. In 1868, many parents in Beverly, Massachusetts wanted the schools to abolish corporal punishment. The school committee came up with many excuses over the years to keep corporal punishment as they believed without it the children would be more rowdy. In 1879, an unsuccessful attempt was made by the Cambridge schools to abolish corporal punishment. In 1880, the Cambridge school board found out that of the 12,973 boys attending Ollie Boys Grammar School, 10,973 incidents of corporal punishment were recorded. It has been found that poor children, minority children with disabilities, and boys that are most frequent victims. Corporal punishment was forbidden from being used on girls in colored schools. It was believed that girls have a different kind of mentality and spanking or whipping would scar their minds for life. White boys were subjected to this cruelty as it was thought that it would make them manly and the process would pass down corporal punishment to their children as a form of discipline. The first European nation to abolish corporal punishment was Sweden. By the late 1800s, most of Europe had followed suit. On May 18, 1870, New York State Board of Education met for the second time to abolish corporal punishment. By 1877, corporal punishment ended forever from the schools in New York, as many schools started to believe that corporal punishment had an adverse effect on it on the child. It took 70 more years for the state of Massachusetts to abolish corporal punishment. School authorities believed that it was still the only way to discipline children and make them more studious and educated. Until the late 1970s, with the formation of anti-corporal punishment groups, Massachusetts finally made their corporal punishment illegal. In 1977, Ingraham v. Wright, the most influential Supreme Court case involving corporal punishment, was decided. In Dade County, Florida, in October of 1970, junior high school students James Ingraham and Roosevelt Andrews were paddled with a wooden paddle. Both students received injuries as a result, Ingraham's being more severe. The court commented on the severity of the paddlings and said that in such cases, school personnel may be held liable in damages to the child, and if malice is shown, they may be subject to criminal penalties. However, the Supreme Court did not rule in favor of Ingraham. With the decision of 5-4, to four, Ingraham was told that the cruel and unusual punishment clause of the Eighth Amendment did not apply to corporal punishment as a disciplinary practice in public schools, and the due process clause of the Fourteenth Amendment did not require notice or a hearing prior to... Because <laughs> you're like freaking yelling at the stupid thing. I talk loud, I can't help it. Do your whispers in. I'm just trying to get it to rewind, but...